allowing. It's coming to the rest. It's coming. It's, it's coming to the rest of the world very soon. One of Australia's biggest banks told all its clients that they're soon going to only be allowing digital transactions. No more cash will be accepted. The World Economic Forum has an entire article about the benefits of a cashless society and how much of a success it's been in China. They're urging all nations to begin the quote cash revolution. The next phase is the U.S. Already many big banks are saying the dollar is about to collapse, which is going to make way for a central bank digital currency. The plan isn't to benefit us. The plan is to control every aspect of our lives. Uh -oh. All right, all righty. Shalom, shalom, Israel. Shalom. Want to start by giving all glory and praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai by Hashem Yahushai all right, we the brothers from downtown in Florida from the Camp Province of Babylon. All right, come on another Lord, want to edify a lesson. All right, teach you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American that America's going to be destroyed with throwing nuclear fire. All right, that you got to get right with Yahweh by Shemel Shah in these times. Once again, double honor to the elders and apostles, great millstone who teach you well. Peace and blessings to the brothers who push this work to sincerity to this scattered abroad. And as you see in the video, all right, as the title going into the M, -O, the M to the O to the T to the B. All right, if you don't know it by now, hey, man, you know, do your research, all right? But as you see in the video, you got this guy, uh, Klopp Schwab, all right, who go to these press conferences and go to these meetings, all right, with these other major nations, okay, all right, having these discussions of major things to happen over time, all right, according to those agendas. And what is that? All right, where it had one of the biggest banks of Australia, okay, has made an announcement that they want to bring things under a digital currency which they've been talking about this for quite some time now, okay? But they want to bring it out of a digital currency to where it is no cash, man. Now, we have always been going into this, uh, you know, start with the Elders and Apostles, Great Millstone, and, and now, all right, going into how the, uh, the CBDC, all right, this, uh, uh, the central banking digital currency has been uh, a thing that they've been working on for quite some time, all right, over the last couple of years. And if you've seen in the stores, if you've seen in your businesses, or any companies major things have been going digital okay it's been a lot more tap and a lot more trans uh transforming uh, from cash to to the digital payment all right so we're in those times where as prophecies uh uh you know jumping off of the scriptures man okay off the pages that guy also said in that video he said the world economic forum has a whole article going into a cashless society and how it benefits uh, the world man you know, they're saying how China, it was saying how China has done it and how effective it is in China. And so guess what? They're going to uh, uh, incorporate it over here in America as well. All the Western world and also all the Eastern world. Huh? Right. Which shows you that they have to be in some kind of, some type of agreement, all right, of understanding, consent with each other, all right, that, um, you know, they have to have these things play out in different areas before they come and bring it here to America because America is in a, the power seat. You know, so if, if anything, he used anybody else's, uh, 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 he used anybody else as a, a, a project or, or a guinea pig, according to his agenda, okay? But that's a form of them sitting amongst each other and talking these things up. Because at one point, um, I had seen someone who I knew, uh, I seen someone who I, I was working with, had that, that, that thing, man, okay? Had that karagma, all right, in their hand. And, and, and it's crazy, because it was it legitimate was there. You know, and I seen it, man. All right, which showed you that uh, over there they have a different type of system set up, okay. But over here in America, you don't have those type of things, okay. Which they want to bring those type of con, which they want to bring those type of uh, 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 you know, those type of uh, restrictions or I'm looking for a better word for it. They want to bring those plans over here, okay. But over there, uh, uh, you know, they already putting these things to play, man. Okay, but soon when these American daily Americans, all right, lose out on things, they are gonna know that this stuff was gonna make it mandatory. Okay. Well, you see, uh, when Elon Musk came out with the human trials for the MLTB, guess what? China said, okay, now we gotta, we gotta, uh, uh, hey, warp speed this shit, man. We gotta right. speed up our our uh, our trials and our studies on the MLTB. Right. We gotta, you know, they started doing the same thing that America was doing, man. And it was crazy because the dude that I, I had worked with, which he was an employee that I had worked with. Uh, 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 you know, was working with he. He was he spoke on it how uh, you know some a, a lot of these people have to go through the process of getting it when they was when they, they were born, or right, or getting it uh, from from you know a certain age, okay. And if you if if, if you had a a certain um, family line that you had to go through that for 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 tracking purposes and all kinds of things, 
but he knew about it because he was he was a uh, he had a well health he had a real wealthy family, okay. Which shows you that was over there, man. That's that was in Japan, okay, in China in the area which he he knew a lot about, okay, because he was raised and born over there, okay. But that just brought me uh, to to you know that testimony because these things are already being put in play in certain different areas. Yeah. Like over there, uh, what is it in uh, Sweden? Or uh, uh, Switzerland, one of the two. Switzerland, you know, Switzerland. You know, correct me if I'm wrong. The water. No, no, right. it's like you're right, Sweden. Sweden. Yeah. Okay, okay. Which they over there doing that process now, man. That's why you go, you do research. They over there, their height, their technology is a lot more advanced. Majority of the population already see here, man. You're right. Yep. So, and you got companies that are pushing that down here as well. But you see, the the main goal is when the Esau makes this thing mandatory, man. Yeah. Okay, on a high and mass level. Okay, where it's worldwide broadcast and things like that and so and so. All right, when this devil make it known, you can't do certain things without having it. Okay, mm -hmm. that's what's gonna make a difference. Yep. Right, uh, you right. got the guy that came out with the he, he invented the RFID, the radio frequency identification mm -hmm. uh, tracking uh, tracking chip. Mm -hmm. Okay, the microchip. He said, "What have I done, man? This is the MOTB that, that the Bible spoke of, you know, because he decided to uh, become a Christian right after or whatever." Start reading the scriptures, and he found out, oh shit, I made the MOTB. What have I done? You know, he didn't even know it. You know, the more, you know, he uh, more caused his footsteps to lead down that path, man. Right. You know, whether he liked it or not, he had to do what he had to do. Exactly. It's just the Lord see him. It's not his. What? I got a precept though. Right. Because uh, I was speaking on how China's falling after America and all the things she's doing. It says Second Ezra 15 and 46, and thou Asia that art partaker of the hope of Babylon and art the glory of her person and the glory of Babylon's person, man, because what? Uh, everything Babylon over here doing, they doing. And then they making everything that Babylon asking for and sending it over here, paying for it. Right. Woe be unto thee, thou wretch, because thou hast made thyself like unto her. Mm. So, hey, now that, now that uh, America's coming out to see here, guess what? China trying to come out with a see here. Uh, it was America's plan to, to do a digitalized city to have camera surveillance over on air and every building and everywhere throughout the city, you know, five minute cities and shit. And Babylon or China's over there accomplishing that shit, man, because what? They knew that they, this is all uh, Esau's intentions the whole time. They right. want to beat her to it. They want to be greater in technology. They know the world is leading to that, man. And plus, they have more of a, 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 a structure over there. Mm -hmm. You see, they run their, they run their, their, their uh, society different, yeah. you know? It's not like where well, you have a lot more freedom over here. That's why a lot of people want to come over here, man. Yep. You know, over there is you have to move a certain, uh, according to a certain way. If you don't, you would have a penalty, you know, uh, uh, no, of uh, not moving that way. Well, so there's also many talks of what World War Three. Yep. So that's forcing all these countries to uh, undergo very strict laws and decrees in their countries, and forcing it upon their people, and the people's running over here. Thinking that they're gonna be safe over here. Right. And these people are getting ready or gearing up to destroy this place. That's why the Lord said he's gonna gather all nations over here in Babylon. It's gonna be a melting pot. Okay, that's all the spirit, man. This is all happening according to the spirit. They ran over here for to, to take cover and safety. Mm -hmm. But the scriptures say, then every man go flee to his own country. You know? Yep. It says, and has decked thy, thy daughters in whoredom that they might please and glory in thy lovers which have always desired to commit boredom with thee. Mm. And it says, Thou hast followed her that is hated in all her works and inventions. Therefore, saith the Yahweh Shemiel Shai, I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence to waste thy houses with destruction and death. So China gonna get it too, man. That's right. why we always tell you, hey, even though America gonna get destroyed, a lot of these other places gonna be going through it too, man. Jacob's troubles come upon the whole world because Jacob is, is, is scattered across the whole world, you know? Mm -hmm. So, and if Jacob's suffering, it's going to be a, such a godly ass whooping that the other nations going to feel it, man. Mm -hmm. The other nations going to feel the famine. The other nations going to feel the pestilence, you know? Except for Jake. Okay, but guess what? These other nations are going to feel it because Jake's getting punished so badly, man. But also, these other nations got to get punished for what they did to Jake, what they did to the Lord and his people, man. You know, so it's the time that we're coming into in this world that's going to be unlike any other. And during, the, and, and during the height of this time, that's what? They're going to issue in the MOTB, man. Right. That's what this lesson about today. Hey, they, they're going to offer it and uh, put it out there as a solution to a problem, man. Yeah. You know, they're going to try to use it as a, a, 
And they, what they gonna do is the, 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 they gonna do it in the intentions of the seeds, man. Yep. You know, that's Esau. You know, what you got, bro? Actually, I had a uh, video. I put it up on my Instagram page not too long ago. If I can grab it real quick. Because he basically went into that, man. Yeah, put it up on the camera. Malcolm. have a lot on your mind. The sustainable population of our planet is no more than 500 million. And we're willing to kill 7 billion. Well, most of those lives aren't worth living. The mass of humanity in Africa, India, China, they live in squalor. They'd be better off dead. The world would be better off without them. And America will be first. Yes, well, as our friend Henry Kissinger said, a strong America is the only thing standing in the way of a new world order. We have foreign troops on the ground now, under the UN banner. The country only needs a little chaos. The American people are resilient. What's to come if the citizens rise up? Yes, well, when parents see their children starving and families hauled away to FEMA camps for imprisonment or worse, then yes, yes, we expect some resistance at first, but the vanity of nationalism will quickly fade. The people will beg for help, any help. Hey, that's a hey, that, that, that video had a lot in it, man. You know, really, it had a lot in it. And he said that, uh, you know, America being itself is a strong or a place, man. Well, when you think about it, these elites, man. Are, are, are no different from these uh, malicious groups, man. Okay, having an inside job. Okay, because what they have planned is what they already set up within it, man. Okay, so this thing is already pre-set up to go a certain uh, accordance, man. Okay, it's, it's meant to go a certain way. And with Esau, all right, it's always been an inside thing. You know, when you look at America's government, when you look at America's, uh, you know, Higher power seats, they come uh, 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 with a different, uh, um, uh, what is it, agenda. Mm -hmm. Okay, they come with a different motive. And you notice that because some of these things are bent to their will, you see? So when they say, uh, you, know, you know, America being like a stronghold or whatever, along those lines, it's because they look at it as these people, man. We have given them so much of uh, uh, freedom of so quote unquote liberty. If they was to come down with this type of uh, restriction in a way, they know that they would have that result or that result of revolt, you see? So they have to move in a, in a most deceivable and clever way. And how are they going to do that? By uh, 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 making these things pop off. That's why he mentioned his NWO. And part of the NWO is to bring order, okay, out of chaos. Mm -hmm. So they have to create chaos within America where everything's popping off so much so they won't be so they won't be looked at as the ones that's causing it yep. but as a, a natural disaster okay a natural thing that just popped off and they want to bring the solution of what they will uh, 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 do to help when the scriptures talk about if he do if he do good he do it unwillingly yep. then will he declare his wickedness roughly paraphrasing man yep. you see so he's already in the mindset of knowing what he's doing and and he's always been uh good at deceiving that's okay. his gift. That's, That's his gift, part of his blessing is deception and the sword, man. But in that video that we just showed, I believe it was uh, further on in the video or it was maybe another video, but he said when they when they come begging for help, then they're going to give them that uh, see him, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're going to be forced to accept it because they're going to they're gonna look for any form of help and they're going to say, this can help you. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be much, much more willing to accept it, man. I think I watched that clip, too. That's a beautiful thing. That's a good video. Yeah. Yeah, and, and 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 that's what they want, because who who, who was it? Uh, Aaron Russo, yep. who was speaking about these elites already? Yeah, we talking about these elites, man. Yeah, yeah, we 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 speaking these uh, elites. We talking about the Rothschild, the Rockefellers, the ones that have uh, these banks, okay, and, and other places in control. These powerful ruling families. They, that's right. right. The, these ones that that, that, that got that uh, that hush money, man. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. They're the, they're the real kings and queens, man. Right. They're ruling, and 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 that's who's uh, having the power in their hand to do so. Uh, when it comes to making things move upon this place, man, this earth. Okay. But ultimately, it's all through the control of how much Mel Shabbat Esau's doing what he has to do on the left hand side. That's why they're speaking in evil terms is the way they are now. When you see these videos pop out, all right, and, and, and things is starting to come to light because he, he's the wicked, okay? And he's, he has had a, a moment, uh, 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 he's had an agenda, he has had an agenda since the beginning, yep. okay? Uh, Book of Revelation, chapter 13, and verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. And who has power? Esau, Edom. Okay, this devil has power to give life to the image of the beast. Which is going into that N to W to the O, man. All right? And his military might, his power, okay? The system he has set up, okay? This devil, he has the, 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 the power to do so. Proceeding to Job, to, um, Job 9 24, Micah, uh, uh, Micah 2 and 1. Okay, go ahead. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as will not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So we're seeing it in the form of his speaking when you've seen things like uh, this dude, uh, Elon Musk, okay, coming out with those certain, you know, the, the monkeys can move. Those are part of those uh, 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 miracles. People can walk again, all right? People can do these certain things. That's what, that's their agenda to, to uh, get that to be accomplished and the ones that they use that on and which will be the sickly and ill. You see? These miracles and shit. Yeah, yeah. That's what they want to do. And that's what's going to get the people amazed. You know? And they're going to advertise it in the way. Just like they do with a, a, a brand new iPhone 15. You know? Uh, brand new VR Pros and shit like that. Yeah. You know? That's what they're going to do, man. But they're going to do it in the... Go ahead. So if you keep a... If you get a... If you have an old iPhone, there's only going to be so much you can do. And so you have to get a new one. You know? They come out with these updates ios 15 ios 17 okay and then the, the old phone that you got it can only go to like ios 11 ios 12 and now in order to keep up with society everybody's talking about this emoji and that emoji but you can't get that emoji or those apps or those features to your phone unless you get a newer phone yeah. it's gonna be the same thing with society right. society is about to get a, a huge upgrade a huge turn of events is gonna come when that c-hip comes out and you ain't gonna be able to participate in the society in society as uh Klaus schwab said Unless you get that MOTB, man. That's right. You yep. know, you're going to be an outcast of society. Just like the people with the old I iPhones consider outcasts, you know? Why? They, you, gotta, you still got you, an you iPhone? You don't have this? You don't have this? You still got an iPhone 5 or uh, 8? Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And with the iOS, the higher level of iPhones, they're doing shit that looks like uh, miracles, man. All they got all today, because technology is getting very powerful. So you're doing face scans and biometric scans and shit. And right. That's all leading you to what? You see him. If you just really put the pieces together, everything in the society is leading to the sea. If you just pay attention, man. What is it? Uh, what is it? What they got a heat? It's an infrared scan. Uh, Something like that. When they got like when you can scan and then you see like the, the, the heat. Yeah. Uh, a body body temperature scan. Yeah. Some right light like infrared. But that's that's what the point being made is that this devil has very advanced uh, his technology. So when it comes to this MOTB, it's not gonna be any, it's not gonna, the way they're gonna advertise it, the way they're gonna show the miracles, it's gonna be it's just that they use this, this, his technology to his advantage, man. That's all it really boils down to. He's gonna use it to his advantage. You see? Go ahead. It says, uh, read it up a little bit. It says, uh, and cause that as many as will not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So a lot of, they, they say they're gonna have some people who are gonna resist. They know that. Okay, but who? You see, what you got for us right now, man? We, 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 we. And form this. This is a, a a form of revolting or resisting to these devils right now. Okay, which is why the scriptures speak, speak of uh, us going to us brothers going to suffer uh, persecution. Okay, some of us might be martyrs of the truth. All right, some of us might be you know put down and and and, and they have to raise again with the outshot, man. All right, but in that form, that's what comes. Uh, you know, Esau realized he was going to be sold because he said, Who's, whoever uh, stands against them, you know what I'm saying, in that way, he's going to kill them, man. Okay, and how's he going to do that? By, you have an execution groups they have, okay, where they're going to uh, have ways of executing you. 
Okay, you got the fire squad, the, the, the gun squad, and, and, the, and the gas chambers. The, the, like you said, they have what? Re-education camps, if you want to call it, you know? Or, yeah. or, or, or FEMA. FEMA camps, man. FEMA's not well known to be popping out at major disasters for nothing. And things strangely happen for nothing. Right, you bodies think, piled on top of bodies. Yeah, I see something when it happened with, uh, what happened, um, it was uh, that one hurricane, Katrina. And I was watching a little documentary on it. And it was talking about how they went some to some area where they had big, big old winds, spinning fans, and they had people who would come over there and work for a period of time because they didn't have nothing over there. Mm -hmm. And it, the, the, the places they had them set up looked like little miniature fever camps, man. You know, so FEMA has been in the game for quite some time and, and been orchestrating things itself. You see, so who do you think was gonna come on front lines um, when it comes to disaster moments? Esau, man. Okay, FEMA and them. The scripture say, if any wickedness happens, I shall find him there first. Beautiful. Paraphrasing. Exactly. That's what I'm. That was, that was on my mind. So he's gonna be there first. So guess what? When it comes to his agenda, and no one's not being uh, uh, cooperative, he's gonna be the first to slay. He's gonna be the first to, to set the this demonstration of. This is why you shouldn't do this. You know, he's gonna make it. He, he's gonna make a, a, a great example out of uh, uh, who he wants to. But guess what? If you don't have your how about shine, all right. If you don't have this truth, all right. Those tactics he's gonna use is gonna it's gonna it's going to uh, affect you, man. You see, which he's gonna he's gonna come with it, man. And we gonna grab it, but he's gonna come with it because he already knows there's gonna be some revolting. He already knows there's gonna be some sedition. He know there's gonna be some rebelliousness, so he's got that certain technology to 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 <laughs> put on your ass to say. Well, shit, he's planning for that rebellions. Yeah, that rebelliousness, man. He can't he, wait. He's taking measures because he knows that's what's gonna happen. That's a part of the fucking plan. He wants you to rebel. That's what he's uh, orchestrating for you to do. You know. <laughs> it goes on. It says. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, Wacko. to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Right. So what is that talking about? That Choragma, man. All right. That M to the O to the T to the B. All right. That incision, man. So you have it where, uh, you know, uh, uh, Esau is going to use these things for a prime example, like Elon Musk. You know, it's not, it's not called Neuralink for nothing, man. Okay? He's gonna try to connect you, all right, to this system of his. And how he's gonna do that? By putting his uh, uh, branding on you. <laughs> just like a cow, just, just like, like a, a, yeah, like, like a, you brand cattle. Yeah. That's how you know this is my cattle. That's what Esau's gonna do to you. He's gonna put his insignia on you, man. He's yep. gonna put his mark on you. Right. Okay, and that's gonna be showing the Lord that you belong to the devil, man. Right, that's you That's you. You saying you gonna, you gonna go with uh, Esau. And, 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 and be converted to him, man, which is a disgrace, which is what's, what's judgment behind that, man, all right, which we will get into a little later, but uh, it's more in the brain of that for me, public show. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. So that, that word right hand also goes into uh, dextrose, which means dominant hand. So you may think, oh, shit, I ain't got... I'm gonna get the MOTB, but I'm not gonna get it in my right hand. You know, I'm gonna get it in my left hand because that's, that's you know, it says right hand, you know. Whereas another instance in the uh, Revelation, it says who got the MOTB in their hand or in their foreheads. So now, now it didn't even uh, discriminate. You right. know, it just said hand. You know, but uh, it's, go, it's gonna be going in the dominant hand, man. Preferably in this spot here, you know, where there's space and the uh, and hand, hey. they're gonna put the MOTB there. And, and that's exactly what uh the, the co-worker I was working with, that's exactly what he had it at. Yep. The whole thing, the whole thing. He, he had it there. Yep. Yeah, the whole yo, that was such a face movement to me, man, because it was like, yo, and he was a Jay. Because, you know, it's, it was, it's crazy because it was Jay. But it, it was such a face boost at the same time because it shows you that this, what we read in and what we're going into, is it, there. You know, the Lord's making, it, 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 it's, it's there, man. It's like, damn, damn. You know, kind of watching his ass like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's like, yo, this, this, this motherfucker got it. Hey, 
that's why I love to be feared, man. You know, because it, great judgments will come with that, man. Okay? But uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of that with those people in that day, man. They're going to be tweaking out. He he, he ain't too wrapped too tight up uh, upstairs, man. He was goddamn tweaking and shit. Like, yeah, you know. Like, he looked, he was really off of some stuff, man. All right. but uh, I think it's a website called, uh, I'm looking it up now. It's called DangerousThings.com, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a few of them out there actually at that, but one of them are, uh, main of them are per pertainingly to certain things. They sell it. They sell it, man. That's why we say it's out there, but it's going to be a different effect when it's mandatory, man. It's going to be a different effect when this devil, cause see, if you're volunteering off rip, Esau's, hey, hey, he's throwing his hands up. Hey, well, make the job easier for me, you know? But the ones that he knows are rebellious, he's the hey, it's, it's gonna come down with that fire, man. This devil's gonna come down with that fire. Believe it or not, okay? This devil's gonna come down with that fire, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Shit. It's gonna be it's gonna be crucial out here. This one that says the RFID access kit, and the price of it is $144. Yep. 49 cents. Yep. You know, and I just spiritual, man. That goes to show you that this is the MOTB, man. He saw what he's doing. Yeah. Go ahead. It says. And that, uh, and he calls the thaw, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Mm. And that no man might buy or sell, mm. save so he. Not, rather you free, you free Roman, you, you, you go to work every day, you, you get up every day, you know, scratch your hands, eat back Cheetos, brush your feet up, you know, rather you free, rather you're in a bond where you're in prison, where you're in chains, okay? Or rather you rich, you got famous, you you money, you got you got the goods. Or rather you poor, you you you're a homeless person sleeping on the side of the street. Mm. It don't discriminate. They, this devil don't. Yeah, he he gonna come with. It. He gonna. It's gonna be brought to your attention. It's gonna be brought forth, man. You see, and it's gonna be talking about what we going into it as of today, man. Okay. Go ahead. And that no man might buy or sell, mm -hmm. save he that had the mark. Or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Right. So you're not gonna be able to buy or sell. All right. Say he that, that that you if you got this thing, man. Okay. You know. Hey, if if you don't got this thing, you're not gonna be able to 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 buy, sell, do any of those things, man. All right. The the, the goal is to don't get it, man. Mm -hmm. If you got this thing, you already converted to this devil system. You already set up for destruction. Okay. But when he comes with it, he's gonna he gonna make it where you can't buy, sell, save, none of those things. You might have a day where you get up and go to the store, go 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 to go do normal stuff. Well, guess what? Just like he did with the whole C19 thing, and he made it where you can't have access to get on planes and get into certain stores. He made it really hard to a certain degree. Same way he's gonna be with it when it comes to the karagma. Alright, that M to the O to the T to the B. And he's gonna make it a lot more harder. Okay? That was a test run. How much more for the real, for the real one, man? All right. Yeah, that that just goes to show you the MOTB can't be nothing else but the C hip. Right. You know the the microchip, man. You know you can't be looking at these guys and saying the, the MOTB is white woman. It's your cell phone. Okay. It's uh. They say, oh, it's your cell phone. Your your phone's in your right hand right now. What if, what if my phone was in my left hand? You know, and it, it makes no sense. Okay, but they'll tell you these things and say it's an embargo or fucking whatever it may be. It's not. You don't need to. You don't need these things to buy or sell, man. It's gonna be something that requires you to have. You gotta be required to have in order to buy or sell. Not only that, they're gonna have your ID in it, all your medical information, all of your information. Period. Gonna be inside that C hip. So when they run you up, or when they do these five-minute cities, they put cameras on every building, and you come through a building, it's gonna scan you, automatically identify who you are when you go in that building. So if you try to steal something and leave with it, they gonna know this dude uh, uh, by this name with this address stole this. Hey, they have what they got some stores out there that you don't even go in and buy. Man. You don't go in and buy. You just go in and grab and walk out, and they charge you based off of that. Yeah. They charge you. You see, so certain places already have it where, you know, uh, what is it? Biometric. I think that's Whole Foods too. Yeah. 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 Biometric, biometric, biometric scans. Man. It's Scans, Pompeii, yeah, man. Whole Foods. What is it? Uh, uh, something with Amazon. Uh, Amazon something. But uh, it, it's a it's a form of pay with your palm. You see, and they got in these Whole Foods, these Kroger's, 
you know, the list goes on. And yeah, they know? got a, I think it was Whole Foods. One of these Whole Foods, at least, they got a, they got a store that has buggies. And when you put the food in the buggy, it automatically rang you up. You know? Yeah. So instead of just going to the register or the desk, they, they rang you up in the buggy, man. Right. You know, everything that's in that car, you got to pay for it. Hey, you know, you know what's crazy? I was at an uh, Amazon interview. <laughs> I was at an Amazon interview, and uh, the guy was talking to us. I said, hey, man, I want to go buy something. I said, okay. And he was like, uh, he was like, yeah, just don't steal anything else. I was like, you know. Sorry about that, but uh, yeah, I was uh, you know, at the Amazon interview, and I asked one of the, the guys who's uh, you know, doing the interviews. I said, "Is it mind if I go to get some, go get some to eat while we wait?" Because I was like early as hell. He's like, "Yeah, yeah, go ahead." He said, "Just don't steal anything." I was like, "What the fuck? Don't steal anything? What do you eat?" You know? And uh, I'm racist. Yeah. Hey, if, it was, if it was a fucking eater, might you wouldn't say that shit. Right. He was like, "Just don't steal anything." And then uh. And I was just like, he was like, he was giving the rundown. I was like, yeah, the cameras and everything, they already scanning you and scanning the, 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 the what you have Damn. in your hand. Yeah, like, it's, 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 it's crazy. So he said, if you didn't even, as soon as you, you know, do these certain things, like, they already own your ass. You can't get away from it. You can't get around it. So, you know, that just shows you that they te they have the technology already, already out there to, to, you know, do these things. And that's at Amazon, man. That's complete control. They want complete control, man. Uh, I remember seeing a video on uh, social media where this dude, it was this old dude, he was an old head, he was in Whole Foods, and he was complaining, he was making a big complaint, and somebody was recording him, he said, uh, this is my change, I have the exact amount of change, I'm going to buy this, and the clerks was like, sir, you can't do that, we don't accept uh, cash forms of payment, you know, you have to uh, do the hand, hand scan or whatever it was, man, but we don't accept that form of payment, you can't do that. You will be stealing if you just put money down and run out with that. You know, he said, I don't care. I have the money. This is the money. And I'm taking this with me. This I paid for it. You know, but you can't really do that, man, because the society is forming around uh, digital payments now. They ain't going to be accepting cash. They're going to do away with cash. So cash ain't going to be a, a form of currency no more for America. Or, hey, for any other world of that matter, you know. But it's going to be all in. It's, it's going to be all digitalized. And that man's going to be uh, considered a criminal. For using the the old form of payment, it's like putting plastic up on a desk and paying for food. Well, you know? just hey, exactly. Well, just like they got rid of actual fruit and root, uh, 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 you know, growing trees. You know, now you have to rely on what they give you in the stores compared to you go outside and get some off of uh, a tree that's been growing up for years, man. Right. So Esau wants to take away the, the the ways of how he had things before, over the natural ways of things how it was before. So how is he gonna do it by by easing that way up upon you, which is through gradualism, man. You see, and it is it is it's just it's a slight difference of a, of a schedule change for this change for this devil compared to you. It's, it's life changing, man. You know, and that's what he wants to do. He wants to, uh, you know, say, look, we're gonna stop using cash. We're gonna do digital because his ass is under pressure, and he wants to try to do something different because he knows that. Uh, his form of what of currency is losing its value. Yeah, you fast know? too. Man. Quickly. It says Revelation chapter twelve and verse twelve. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. So knowing this, all right, you hopeful, you brothers who the hopeful, hopeful uh, elect, okay, knowing this, you know we have some sort of rejoice, man, mm -hmm. because guess what? This is what we've been reading for so long about, man, to come to pass, and we're starting to see it. As it jumps off of these scriptures, man. Okay, as we have that faith and hope behind it. So we have some state of rejoice because Esau's kingdom is not going to stand forever, man. And we know that because the Lord told us that, man. You see? Go ahead. It says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Which who's in, who's in, a, who's in a power seat? Esau, you know. Esau, man. So woe to him, which is destruction, and to the ones that that's that's here in this place as well. That's subject to them. Yeah. You know, you, you, your mind is here in Babylon. You all about America. Mm -hmm. I'm proud to be an American. Right. Guess what? Woe be unto you. Destruction be unto you because you trust in this devil. Right. And you, you, know, you Israelites that trust in oppression, it's woe unto you as well, man. Right, right. Because what? You didn't trust in the Lord. You trusted in Egypt and, and their oppression towards you. You trusted in them. That's why the scripture says that's going to be your shame and your confusion. Mm -hmm. You see, you're going to be confused in the state when this devil about to come with it, man. You're going to be 
you're going to be ashamed of the fact that you even trusted in him. And now you have about Chanel shot. So yeah. now it's, it's going to be a taste of taste of medicine. Mm -hmm. You know, go ahead. It says, For the devil has come down unto you, mm. having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Hey Amen. If you see, when you go to these neighborhoods, who's always propped up in the ghettos and the hoods and the, and, 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 and the low income areas? Esau, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? Like this devil, yeah, this devil's always at the, 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 the ends and the outs. Okay? When it comes to you, you jakes. So when this devil come down, have a great wrath, which the scriptures tell you, this is how you know this is the devil, man. That's the, the Bible speaks to speak of, man. That's how you know this is the wicked. Esau, he can't hide his wickedness. He can't hide his devilish ways, man. Okay, he can't hide it. He, you see him get mad, his face get red. It's gonna speak about how Esau uh, came out, uh, you know, hair all around him in red. Okay, the, the, the list could go on, man. This is Esau, he can't uh, hide his you know, uh, uh, nature. Okay, so he's gonna come down having great wrath, all right? Amongst you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, and anybody that stands in this way, you see, because we're speaking that as we speak about that time when he comes down having great wrath, it's gonna come to a time of what Jacob's trouble, man. Mm -hmm. He's gonna act out and use all his abilities, his gadgets, his swords, all right, his uh, you know, his tools. He's gonna use everything, and he's gonna lash out like a like a, a baby that don't get his way because he's losing it, man. Like a spoiled child. Yep, yeah, he's losing it. And he, he he ain't gonna have it for too long. Which we can grab too. Um Job, uh, I think four and fourteen or fourteen and five, yeah. Fourteen and five. Go ahead. It says Habakkuk chapter two and verse three and the NLT. This vision is for a future time. It describes the end and it will be fulfilled. And it will be fulfilled. Okay. So these scriptures already was set up, alright, from from, from from a four time from a the four beginning. time yeah to happen which is a part of prophecy okay we Great see for our learning right <laughs> we've seen this play out man which is a beautiful time to be in man okay and and, and a serious one go ahead if it seems slow and coming uh -huh. wait patiently what wait patiently wait patiently what is patience long suffer, suffer. Long suffering. Lord say he's long suffering, man. We suffering every day. We but, wait on the Lord to pull up. We're suffering this, man. Get, Damn, get I want, the, the place. It should just be destroyed so we can be at peace and we can we can forever enjoy the brotherhood and, and the love of hey, our families, right. you know, and our lives. We can actually live our lives. We, we can, can actually live. We're just surviving, right? You know, right. Go ahead. It says, if it seems slow and coming, wait patiently, mm. for it will surely take place. It will not be delayed. Right. So that's hey, that's that was the uh. Uh, 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 things that's true, you see, mm -hmm. things that's written are true. It's okay, promised. it's promise. That is promising, man. So hey, bring it back. It says, it's like it. It Go says, ahead. this vision is for a future time. Mm -hmm. It describes the end. Mm -hmm. What yeah. book of chapter? Habakkuk two, two and three. three. Mm -hmm. Not. Yep. It says, it describes the end, and it will be fulfilled. It describes the end, and it will be fulfilled. So what the Lord said up according to his will will be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing going to go against the will of your heart by So I tell you that. Yeah, nah, man. That's always going to do with anything that is, uh, uh, you can't do nothing against the truth, but for the truth, man. Okay, that's the reality. Go ahead. If it seems slow and coming, Mm -hmm. Wait patiently. So if it seems to tarry in, 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 in that period of time, right? Go ahead. For it will surely take place. Wait patiently, for it surely will take place. It will not be delayed. Mm, it will not be delayed. We go to where tarry means to delay, so it's not going to delay. That's going to accomplish what it was sent forth to do so to the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. All right? Rather, despite what you non-believers uh, feel, despite what you 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 hard-headed niggas feel, okay, despite what anybody feel, it's going to happen according to His will. You see, Shalom, Makia, Yabashmi, Shabakta. Shalom, Makia, you call Yabashmi, Shabashmi, Kavdash, Shabakta. Shalom, Makia, you call Yabashmi, Shabashmi, Kavdash, Shabakta. Go ahead, bro. Hey, man. So. 
we bring it out to you is the truth. Right, you know, right, right. That's right. We told you it's about to come. Right. You know, and we're telling you that we're in the time that it's, it's here, man. You know, back then it was like it was prophets were vision in these things. They can only describe you, hey, you're going you to need it in order to buy or sell. Right. Now we're here because it was revealed to us. We're telling you what you're going to need to buy and sell. And that's the RFID micro C hip, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the MOTB. And it, 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 ain't yeah. no one escaping that. That's coming. Right. You know, it's, it's right around the corner. These devil's plans have been accomplished by 2030. Right. Agenda 2030. Look it up. Do right. your research, man. If you actually just dig into these things a little, just a little bit, you're going to start to see, oh, shit. This devil is, uh, he's, he's, he's on our heads, man. He's coming for us, man. And, hey, you can't fucking deny the truth. You can't deny the truth anymore because once we were called conspiracy theorists, now everybody's a fucking conspiracy theorist, man. Right. Why? Because people are seeing this shit unfold. Mm -hmm. You know? They're seeing the prophecies come off the book and slap their ass in the face just about. Right. And it's our job to bring it out, to, to show you, man. All right? Because he saw, he, uh, yeah, you know, 30, 30, 30. uh, I got a few more. Okay, the last part says, and it will not delay, right? Yep. So, what is uh, the, that word, uh, the, the, it says it will not delay, because what? The Lord has it set up a certain way, man. All mm -hmm. right? Because guess what? Esau don't have a long period of time of ruling. People grab that Job. 14 uh, and 5. Yeah, 14 yes. and 5. Okay, because he, he's under distress, okay? And that's why he's making, um, that's why he's making reckless decisions. All right, that's why he's uh, just... You know, getting at this point, trying to throw out all, all, all his magic tricks and deceive, uh, deceptions as much as he can because eventually he's going to just turn around and, and, and show his horns. Mm -hmm. Which we said that this devil won't come down and have a great rap. Come down and have a great rap, man. Everything else is, a, is to deceive you, mislead you, to, 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 to throw you off, okay, for the meantime. Peace out. Well, well, I got the scripture you asked for. It says, okay. Job 14 and 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. And there are certain things that Esau must fulfill during his rulership. And, and uh, generally, the main thing is that MOTB, man. You know? And the Lord has appointed his bounds that he can't pass. So guess what? This is what we're seeing that he's running out of time. His time is short. So he's going to try to accomplish that goal that the Lord told him to accomplish. At the end of the day, Esau's serving the Lord too, man. Okay? On the left-hand side. So he has to he has to obey the commandment of the Lord, Yahabashimio Shai, which is bring forth that sea hit, man. Right, because in a hey, when you think about a movie, all right, you need a, a you need a, a you need someone who's playing the, the good role and the bad role. You see? And this is the Lord's movie. So you have a, the, the protagonist and the antagonist, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, the good and the bad. And Esau is doing his left he's doing his job on the on 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 the on, on left hand side, man. Which the scriptures talk about. When King David spoke of in the book of Psalms, deliver me from the wicked, which is thy uh which is thy sword. Which is thy sword. That's right. So that saying that these devils are used for a certain uh, position, according to the left hand side of uh Yahweh side, which is to, to afflict and, 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 and do certain things to a certain degree. Yep. All right. So Esau has to play his part. All right, and him is being identified in the scriptures the wicked. He has to do that. Uh, according to this part, a part his part of the movie, man. Yeah. You see, and this devil's gonna do it, and he gonna he gonna fulfill it, cause you can see how he's doing it now. He, he he's doing it. Uh, he's he's actually advancing in it. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, more than what was expected. <laughs> um. Yeah, the bring back. It says, seeing his days are determined. So his days are determined. Go ahead. The number of his months are with thee. Uh huh. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So he, he, he the Lord has already set up what his devil cannot succeed from far more what he already has been given. Okay? He only has a limited, okay, to his rulership, to his power, to everything, okay, for, for, for a set and date, time of his own destruction. Yeah. Okay? And that's what we tell you, man. That's why it's to rejoice. <laughs> All right? in the Revelation 12 and 12 because we know that, man. Mm -hmm. It's just a part of suffering this thing out, okay? Which I got this right here because we have a job and mission to do according to what uh, uh, what's going on, man. We watching, we paying attention, or we seeing the things that we can, okay, to that to that uh, protagonist, right? 
Con. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, Con says, uh, we'll grab this, we're gonna grab one more and then we're gonna get out. It says, Thessalonians chapter two, verse eight, and then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord Yahweh shall shot, shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Right, which we are doing, man. Okay, so this devil's being revealed, he's being exposed, this is where persecution could come in, this is where, you know, that 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 uh this devil coming down having great wrath comes in, man. Okay, because he knows that he's been exposed in that time that he has been that he has been limited, all right, which is determined, all right, which is gonna make him be put have his back against the wall and lash out, man. Yeah, the fact that he's being exposed shows that he's at the end of his rulership. Yeah, you know, the scriptures say I have made Esau bear, you know, he's uncovered. He can't hide anymore. So all of his secrets are coming out openly. That's why they came up to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and said, how did you find this out? We spent billions and billions of dollars to hide this from you. And now it's being professed among the mountaintops, man. Right. Amongst the highways and edges. Right. So hey, you know, you know, this is the, the this is spirit of the devil coming in, man. All right? You gotta prepare for that. That says Ezekiel 33, verse 33. And when this cometh to pass, Lord it will come, then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. So then you will know you have been warned, you have been told, you have been spoken of, uh, uh, spoken to, man. Do the spirit prayer by Shemel Shai, which this is not of our own. All right, it's all through the will of your heart by Shemel Shai, man. That's right. Okay. That's why how Shai said, I come not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. Sent me, yep. Okay, so it comes from, from, from high up, man, from the highest. Right. All this is coming down from the highest. We just relaying the message, man. That's okay, right. That's why I did come up and ask up, what's your opinion? What do you? How do you feel about it? It's not about how we feel. We just relaying the message, man. Don't exactly. the message you, you know? Exactly. That's right. So, hey, man, you know, going into this MOTB, you got this thing over there in Australia where they, you know, starting to, you know, tweak things into their uh, uh, advantage, yep. all right? So these high banking families and then, and these other families, all right, are, are, are going to start turning towards the cashless society thing. Digital currency. And digital currency, you know, so. That's the times we in, man. So, you know, keep watching. And, 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 and hey, what's next? And remember, you were warned, man. Mm -hmm. You were warned. So, ain't no, ain't no, you watch this video, when you watch another lessons on MOTB, you were warned. There is no cloak for your sins anymore, man. Right. You can't go and get that MOTB and say you didn't know. Right. Seek your help out your mouth, shout while you have the time. And, 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 hey, do what's best, man. All right. We're going to face the east and we'll close it out with, by giving all. Going on praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai by Shem Kadash. Once again, the boss said that was the Apostle Great Millstone. Teach you once, and next time we say Shalom. 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 Shalom